African-Americans who do not care about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. My friends in Kenya have seen double the price of groceries in their grocery stores since the start of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. My friends in Nigeria have seen an inflationary increase in the price of gas. Almost unaffordable is a direct quote. Biden continues to give Israel bombs to drop indiscriminately on Palestine, Jordan, and Lebanon while saying, oh, don't drop it indiscriminately, knowing that they are going to do so. Shell Oil has decided that they are halting the shipment of oil along the Red Sea. The Red Sea is attached to Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, Djibouti, and across the Red Sea, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Jordan, Yemen. Citing, you know, the conflict in Israel, the Arab states are upset. Shell Oil is a Western company. Okay, so if you get a map of Africa and the Middle East, and you see how Israel and Egypt share a border, Egypt, Sudan, and Saudi Arabia are connected by the Red Sea. If you see the geography, it's a nightmare for the escalation of world war. Shell Oil realizes that they're a Western company and could be hijacked on the high seas by being the high seas being, in this case, the Red Sea, by any one of these Middle Eastern countries out of retaliation for what Biden is doing in Israel. Thus, driving our prices of oil up that are already high worldwide. When Republicans in Georgia vote for a troubled Herschel Walker, they're voting for his economic policies that were Trump's economic policies because under Trump, their gas prices weren't as high. Their grocery prices were starting to rise because of COVID, but they weren't as high as they were now, as they are now. People understand about Roe v. Wade, but the idea is, hey, I work hard. I have generational wealth because we work hard and we believe in family and keeping wealth insular and supporting ourselves. You know, it's not my fault that other cultures backstab themselves and do not believe in group economics and when they do believe in group economics sometimes the quality of the services is not good so the group doesn't want to go to a poorly ran business that's not my fault but over here we believe in group economics if she's having a medical emergency i can call up my family doctor that will, you know, go around the rules to take care of things. Or I can drive my relative, my friend, to the next state over outside of the southeastern abortion wall to get her much-needed miscarriage care that won't be handled in the South because of new abortion rules. We can handle it. Was because we are a family unit. That's what I'm seeing going on. My friends um, in, 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 and this is what happens, black people, when you support each other and then your businesses have to actually 
you know, be good and your products and services have to be timely, efficient, and effective. The business jargon. And then we have to learn to put away our differences, as a lot of Latinos do when they live in four, like four adults to a one bedroom or two bedroom apartment. Of course, we're not going to like each other's personalities, but you do what you have to do. You support each other until people can fend for themselves. Um, and you find what you like about each other and focus on that instead of, oh, she's Christian, she's Muslim, she's agnostic, she doesn't believe in religion at all, she's of the devil. Do you have a place to stay? Can you afford your car note? Your cousin Sally Sue has an extra car that's not being used, but you can't afford your car note, and you're not talking to her because she's Muslim, though she's the nicest person in the world. And you are a Christian in name only over here, but you participate in church. And the real Christians who live a life worthy of honor, but may or may not be as active as church in, in you, you don't talk to them because they actually exhibit the spirit of God and you don't want to be challenged. You know, it's so many things going on. We have to learn to get over those things as black people. Um... My friends in Nigeria and Kenya know that I have a political science degree, one of my degrees. They follow what I post about U.S. politics, the videos I make, and the news clippings I post very closely. The U.S. president is either the number one promoter of peace in modern day times, which is New yet updated from Reagan to Trump. Or the number one promoter of the military industrial complex around the world. What the U.S. president decides about war and his or her thoughts on the war trickles out to the rest of the world locally and internationally and uh i think it's it's just simple i can handle my own life i don't need the government to to help me off my feet to handle my own life i think that's how a lot of people look, uh, feel because hey i understand what the bible says about family and the importance of family no I cannot be a single woman and do this by myself. Lord, I'm asking you for a husband to help me fix the things that I cannot seem to handle every day. In my case, it would be there's always some weird thing off about my outfit. A chip nail. I forgot to comb a part of my hair. Or I forgot to iron one piece of small clothing. Lord, I'm asking you to fill in that void for my husband can help me and I can help him with his weaknesses. No, I cannot do this by myself. I cannot do life by myself. I acknowledge the need of family to, you know, not only physical needs, but to help me mentally get through this life and encourage me. I cannot be all the single ladies for the rest of my life. I can't handle it. I acknowledge it, Lord. I think a lot of white people are honest with themselves. I'm honest with myself. I see a lot more black women, especially divestors, start to be honest with themselves. No, you cannot do life alone. And I think the black community needs to realize that too. Other communities realized it generations ago. We used to realize it um, 
you know, before integration. We can still frequent other groups of people's businesses now, but we need to reform our business models and also frequent our own businesses while frequenting other businesses and promoting and protecting each other and stop being so uptight with each other and the root of it is really just self-hate. I don't see dark-skinned Indians practicing self-hate among other family members that are dark-skinned Indians. No, we're doing life together. We're building businesses together. 